So in here could be potentially the sub $100 premium headset with active noise cancellation. Hey everyone, with my big move going back to the Philippines, and me entering the BPO industry, I wanted to step my game up and showcase or review potentially a great headset under $100 and is considered premium. I present to you the Avant Tree Premium Noise Canceling Headset. So if you're working for a call center, and I would venture to say you can use this for gameplay. Quality-wise, I just like the fact that they have a really nice case, leather case on this. This is pitched as Premier. So, you know, I would have to say feel-wise of this particular unit compared to, let's say, a $500 piece, just on aesthetics alone. I think it's comparable to a, um, a Beats Pro. Uh, although even Beats, some of their, their, their leather starts flaking. I hope this doesn't happen to this one right? But the fitment, the movement does not feel cheap on this particular unit, honestly. You don't have like a cheap vibe feel for, for it right now. But then again, it's very fresh. It's very new. So I can't really say that. Just the feel of it, the look of it, the, the, the materials right now, they feel pretty solid as you can see right there, right? It's pretty cool that they have <laughs> the, the, uh, left and right, right there. Now, what I do like about this Avant Tree because, and I know it's it was geared towards call center people or just people in the office, is how easy and accessible the buttons are, right? As you can see right here, right? So look at the buttons right there, so accessible, right? Your ANC is right here, right? And then you have all your other buttons right here for mute and off and on, right? To take a call and things like that. Especially right here to turn to turn the volume on, keep playing. If you want to do you want to play music to for on and pairing as well, as you can see. Right? And this is where you're charging it. And this right here is I want to show you. And it comes with a boom mic. I don't know if you see it right there. So the cool thing is that the fact that I'm gonna be in a BPO setting and do a lot of conference calls and stuff like that. This is going to be a game changer for me because I haven't worn something like this in a while. The good thing about also this, when it's in, when you're taking it to this mode right here, right, it can you can mute and unmute from here. Now, it's not as flashy as the, the gaming ones, but I'm not really into that. I can feel, I can wear this in the airport and be good about it and everything like that. So before I put them on, I do have to say that the leather on here, I don't know if it's really real. It feels real, super soft. This feels nice and supple. Honestly, there's memory foam down back here. Just a really nice pillow. So I'm going to put it on. Now, as you can see, like it is almost like shaped forward, right? So I'm going to put them on. Fitment wise, they feel great. Honestly, they feel great. I haven't turned it on, right? I haven't turned it on, but I like the fact that they cover my whole entire ear. I have big ears, so for me, that's a, it's a great thing for me. Right there, as you can see, if you wanna see little, that's the, right there. And then once again, I got big ears, right? So, and without the AC, ANC on right now, it's already a bit muffled, honestly. It, it feels really a bit muffled already. I'm gonna turn it on. And the good thing is once you get acclimated to the buttons and everything, Yes, you can really just reach in and and turn it on. If you want to get used to the buttons on the right side is going to be your on and off section right here. On the left side is going to be your active noise canceling. So at the present moment right now, I do hear that it's muffled. I don't know how loud I'm speaking, but I do hear it's muffled. I'm going to turn the ACE and C on and there you go. Now, the that that muffled feeling of um, just you can kind of hear the surrounding. You know, you know if you put your ear in a conch shell, that's what, that's the best thing. That's the best way I can can describe it. You don't feel it right now. I put the A and C on. You barely feel it right now. It feels like uh, just uh, 
a numbness, like uh, no sound at all. So let me turn A, C, A, and C off. And yeah, I, I, I kind of hear my own voice a bit, right? And I hear the reverberation of my voice. So I can truly say that the ANC, how this function is actually working. Because if I turn it on, I don't hear the muffledness of my voice so much. I don't hear it resonate in my head, I guess, right here. But I just, I do hear it, but it's a bit more like when you're listening to your microphone on your own voice, if that makes any sense. But as always, like everyone wants, I'm going to put the microphone on, the boom mic on. So if you are working in a BPO setting or anything like that, or a call center setting, or just doing conferencing and you want to use this, this is what I'm going to show you what it's going to sound like when you actually take that step and put the boom mic in and how your conversations are going to be. So three, two, one, and Aria Pro. So this is going to be the Avantry Aria Pro. This is the vocals on it right now. So I will not try my, I'm not going to try to speak as loud as I can. Um, literally, uh, like um, maybe I'm just going to put it right now, right on my mouth because it might be too much. But this is the voice that most people will hear when I'm speaking to them through this particular microphone. I don't know what you guys think about it, right? And let me see. Does it matter if I put A and C? Okay, I put, a, I, I put active noise canceling while I'm actually using the unit right now. So actually, it, it is canceling a lot of the noise outside of here. But nonetheless, at the end of the day, your input's going to be what's important. Does my voice sound raspy? Does it sound artificial? You know, give me your feedback. What does it sound like? Because if you're looking for a premier um, headset, this might be it for you. I'm going to put the links down below, but literally, this is going to be our conversation if we ever speak through uh, this headset right now, if I ever speak to you through this headset. Is it annoying? Is it good? Is it nice and deep? Is it raspy? Like I said, does it feel like a tin can? So, you know, that's something to uh, uh, figure out. But at the end of the day, you know, unless you're literally listening to your own phone calls, it might not really matter, uh, right? So the good thing is that it is wireless. You can walk around with it. So even if I was to walk away from you and just talk to you this way and, you know, say what's up to my wife because she's editing right now. But, um, yeah, so watch. So I'm like... I'm like 10 feet, 20 feet away right now. No, not 20 feet away. I'm like uh, about 15 feet away. So the versatility of you walking away, um, talking this way might be amazing, might be a game changer for you. I don't know because me personally, I feel great when I'm walking around. My brain and my juices are flowing. This is where my flow state is at. Not sitting down at a desk, so if I'm trying to lock in deals, talk, do certain meetings and stuff like that, and me and my client have a repertoire or have a rapport where we're talking actively, this might be for you because at the end of the day, it's how you feel. I feel great about walking around and being a bit more active in what, and what I do. So not being tied down to a wire, if, if this is properly, uh, properly, um, charged obviously but outside of that you know we're good we're good to go now so with that said tell me what you guys think about this particular quality of this microphone is it is it do you feel it is quality and if not comment down below with the ones that you know for sure are quality jabra bose whatever i don't know put put the links down below as to what you believe is the best headset for a BPO and or call center arena environment. The audio file in me says just to test out the sound. So I'm going to play some songs. Obviously, it's going to be copyrighted, so I don't want to play it for you. But I'm going to um, just give you my feedback, uh, you know, you know, just just my feedback. The good thing about it is that it's super accessible. Everything's super accessible in this particular unit. So ANC on. I kind of hear the background, that, that, that empty noise feeling, that, that white noise feeling. But in ANC mode, it's, the sounds are a bit more pronounced. Now, when I'm listening to music, when it's literally like a, when I was a DJ, 
I'm always looking for, you know, typically well-rounded uh, units or, you know, headphones. Good mid-range, good bass, good treble. Everybody's really looking for that. Some units are really good at bass, but drown out the mid-range mid, the mid and then the highs. But this one right here, without, without breaking my ears, the speakers I use are very good, honestly. So here's a, the downbeat, the bass beam. Now, the volume's not up because I don't want to go deaf, but it is pretty balanced on what you're hearing. I don't know if you hear that. Compared to, uh, let's just say, a, a Sen certain Sennheisers and or um, Bose speakers and uh, I guess maybe the first gen or just the... Uh, the Beats Pro. This is. I don't think it's there compared sound-wise. Compared, I mean, this with you know bass and depth. But you know, who wants to go deaf? You know what I'm saying? So, but with that said, I mean, it is. It is a good unit. I'm not gonna lie. It is a good unit. So, you know what I'm saying? So, that's pretty much my review on the Avantri Aria Pros. I would say pick them up if you are looking for a quality, a quality headset for the BPO and or call center setting or a conference setting. I'd say pick them up. They feel very comfortable on my head. You know, like um, the the ear, the foam on here, the the leather or whatever they're using seems very supple. Honestly, now it it will all it's all in due time if they they start um, peeling things like that. But what I'm what I'm feeling now is like a memory foam. It feels like actual cushions on your ear, and because I have bigger ears, they really like cover my ears, which I like. The top right here, the 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 materials are using all throughout the unit. I like. I really do. Right. Um, everything else feels very sturdy. Honestly, if you want to go ahead and purchase it, I'm gonna put the links down below. I'm going to use this because I'm going to do a lot of conference meetings. So I look forward to using this and, you know, in hopefully a couple of years at least. So hopefully this thing lasts me at least two to three years. So because I don't really like spending money. They're like a hundred bucks, which is not really a lot of money compared to the things I buy. But understand that, you know, I'm not really in the market for a $500 pair of, you know, like a conference, uh, you know, conference headphones just not my thing i would rather spend it on something else to be honest with you but for a hundred dollars i think this is a good buy so with that said take care god bless and i'll see you guys soon bye